When your check engine light comes on, you might not know what's wrong, but your automaker does, and it doesn't have to share that information with you. You may not know that. Wireless technology allows automakers to be the gatekeeper, essentially, of your car's information. But there is a bill filed by a Florida congressman that will change that, giving you the right to repair. Service technicians say just because you're in the driver's seat doesn't give you total control if there's a problem with your ride. So that's your car, but you don't get to make decisions on how it's taken care of, who takes care of it. Even if you want to do your own service, all of a sudden, really, it's not your car anymore. If your car breaks down, automakers direct you to the dealership. But is that always the best option? They could let it sit out there however long they want, and you have no options to get it repaired quicker somewhere else. Right to repair is supported by organizations like Consumer Reports. It gives customers information about their vehicle. That way, consumers have a choice about where to go for repairs. Leaders with the Auto Care Association say having options saves money. Through our research and through surveys that we have conducted, the uh, cost of repair on average is 36% less in the independent aftermarket. In other words, the, the, the shop on the corner of Elm and Main rather than the dealership. The National Automobile Dealers Association opposes the right to repair. In a statement on its website, it says aftermarket companies like repair shops then gain access to automakers' proprietary information, which it says can create new privacy, vehicle security, and safety risks. The security issue is kind of red herring. Repair shops just need the data that's required to fix your vehicle. They're not actually rewriting the car's software. What's really dangerous is people driving around with unrepaired cars because they can't afford to take them to the manufacturer. NADA says necessary information to repair vehicles is already available, but service techs tell Consumer Reports it's not enough and confusing. When I'm working on a domestic, an Asian, a European, it's all over the board with the equipment that I need, the websites and subscriptions I have to subscribe to in order to get those cars repaired. He says it's a speed bump. The U.S. House bill dealing specifically with auto repair was filed earlier this year by Florida Republican Representative Neil Dunn. It's called the Repair Act, and it's moving slowly through committees. Now, we have details of the bill and why the National Automobile Dealers Association opposes it right now on NewsForJax.com. But the right to repair issue does go beyond cars, you should know. I mean, you can run into the same problems when trying to fix your electronics, for example. In fact, last week, Apple said it supported the White House's push for a nationwide right to repair rule, saying it would make parts, tools, and documentation needed to fix its iPhones and computers available to independent repair shops and consumers across the country.